Hi, Keshav here. Welcome back. In this video, I am going to show you how do we implement nested if condition in ADF. Alright. So, if you can look into my screen. So, I am just creating one pipeline here. Just uh, I am naming it as nested if. That is okay. Let us not worry about the name. I am going to just pull if condition activity into my editor pane. If I want to add any additional if condition activity, of course, I can add n number of if condition activities within the pipeline. But in case if you want to add if condition inside another if, see here I, I got into if condition activity and uh, now if I try searching for if I cannot see. So that means we cannot implement nested if in ADF, right. So now I am going to show you the you know workaround how we can implement nested if by writing dynamic content in ADF. So let me just take off this activity we do not need anymore. I am going to just brief you about the requirement. So here I am just taking some mocked up data let us not worry about that maybe in next video I will take one real time scenario to have nested if implemented alright. So in this video I am going to just use one you know uh, mocked up data set. So it has got three fields ID employee then status right I got three records also this time I am going to loop through the records those I am getting through this data set and what exactly I want to implement. So I want to check if ID is 2 and employee name is B then again I want to check if that employee is active or not if he is active then I want to execute one query that is query 1 and in case if he is not active just I want to execute query 2. This is one condition if the first condition whatever I given id is 2 and name is b then I want to do one more check here. So inside this if condition I want to check again if the first condition is true then again I want to check whether that employee is active or not. If active I want to execute one query if is not active I want to execute another query. In the outer if condition if the first condition is not matching that means it will fall under else condition. So in else condition I want to call another if condition to check for employee A. In case if it is A I want to execute query 3 else I want to execute query 4. So then in case of first condition is not matching then it will fall under else. Under else again I want to check for employee A if the you know the given condition is matching then I want to execute query 3 if not then I want to execute query 4 alright. So let us get started and let us see how we can get this implemented. I am going to go back to ADF I just created on a pipeline nested if. So to get my data set I am going to use one lookup activity. So I am going to paste this query in the lookup activity to have this data set passed through lookup. Alright, I am going to just create new connection for SQL DB. Search for Azure SQL. Alright, I am going to name it as Azure SQL and link service. I got already link service created. Let me use it. And table name, uh, that is not an issue. I am going to go for none for now because I am not going to use table anyways. I am going to paste this query and this query result I am going to you know pull through lookup activity. Whatever the data set I am getting here I want to loop through each and every row and check for the condition right. For that what I am going to do I am going to use for each activity to loop through each row that I am getting through first lookup activity. For each I am going to just connect and here I am going to you know give the expression for item this should be my lookup activity dot value whatever the value I am getting through the first lookup activity I want to iterate through those values. So I am going to just say okay 
all right i am done with even for each activity settings inside for each activity i am going to use another lookup so yeah uh, same nested if conditions you can write even in a copy data activity in other activities also but i am going to go for another lookup activity here now in here let me connect to sql db now i am going to pass the conditions and you know if conditions so if as per our first condition what i need to check i need to check if id is 2 and name is b name means employee employee is b all right so i'm gonna go for at the rate if i'm gonna just say equals equals what equals item dot id the item is so whatever the you know value that we are getting from the lookup through for each activity i'm gonna just say item dot id is equals to what two and and equals so this term it should be item dot employee item dot employee equals to what b here it is string so i'm gonna put that in single quotes all right so i'm passing two conditions here right so two conditions how do we separate we just pass two conditions by separating with and right so we need to pass and here so that should be here after if and equals item dot id equals to two uh, item dot employee equals to b then what i want to do then again if this condition is true so then again i need to check whether that employee is active or not if he is active then i want to do one activity if he is not active i want to execute a different query so that's what our requirement is again i'm going to put if inside the outer if so here item dot item dot status of what active so then what should i do i need to execute select nested if query one all right I'm gonna close it off so else then I want to execute query 2 for that I'm gonna give the condition as nested else because for nested if this is else condition I'm gonna name it as nested else and this one I'm gonna get it as query 2 all right this is done so under first if condition if the condition is true i want to check again the status if the status is active i want to execute one query if status is inactive i want to execute a different query all right this is done now else condition for the top if so for that again i'm gonna again check the employee again if equals employee item dot employee is equals to a then select outer l if so for outer else condition i'm gonna you know pass this if condition so i'm gonna say outer l if so let me close the bracket as yeah query three all right else else i need to select i need to i need to execute different query that i'm gonna say outer else so this should be query for all right let's check if all the parentheses and quotations are closed so this has to be closed at the end i'm gonna close it off yes all right so we closed all the parentheses we are good to execute our query all right so the first if i'm just reiterating again the requirement the first if we look for id2 and employee b if that is true then again i'm checking the status of the employee if active then i'm executing one query if 
is in active state is if is in inactive state then i am executing query 2 again in the else condition in case the first condition that is employee id and employee name b if either of these are not matching then it 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 falls under else condition again in else i am going to check whether that i am going to check for employee a if true then query 3 will be executed if false then query 4 will be executed all right this is how we can implement nested if condition in adf as i said i am just using some mocked up data here in in coming video definitely i will do with some real time scenario so that it will be more clear for you guys all right so i'm going to just say okay and execute the pipeline